all under the glass. Under the Mixed number adding, subtracting, reducing all of that all in one fatal swoop. Since we did reduce it last time, at least. Let's jot down the problem. What if you have, uh, well, 2 6? Let's just reduce the thing first. How do we reduce 2 6? And if you got your little manipulatives out, your little fraction pieces, and you put 2 6 together, they would equal the same as what fraction out there? How do I know? And why, Wade Davis? Uh, one third. One third. Two six does equal one third. So how do we reduce without using those fraction manipulative things? What do you have to do, Evelyn? Divide them both together. Right. Look to see what number. What number goes into both the top and the bottom? And if you look at these, two goes into both of them. So you divide them both by two. And you get one third. What if you had 16 over 18? Same thing would be true. What number goes into both 16 and 18? They can be divided by? Jalen? Two. Two. So if you divide them both by two, you end up with eight over nine. And then what number goes into both eight and nine, Carolyn? One. And if one is the only number, then the thing is obviously reduced all the way. Because if you divide them both by one, you're going to get 8 over 9 again. How about one more? What about 12 over 16? What number goes into both 12 and 16, Parker? Two. All right, Parker says 2. So if I do them both by 2, I do, I get 6 and 8. Then I have to look at 6 and 8 and say, what number in 4 doesn't go into 6 or? Like two. <laughs> two again, cut them both in half, you get three fourths, and then that one is reduced all the way. So let's put that into practice with mixed numbers. What is 16 and two thirds percent? 16 and two thirds percent plus 16 and two thirds percent. When you see fractions like that, the first thing you have to do is do what, Wade Davis? Thank you very much. On your paper, you write it as 16 and 2 thirds plus 16 and 2 thirds. What do I get when I add 2 thirds plus 2 thirds? 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is, Abram? 4 thirds. What do I get when I have 16 plus 16? 32. Am I allowed to leave that? No. No, because 4 thirds is what we call an improper fraction. You have to make that a mixed number. What is 4 thirds as a mixed number, Amelia? Uh, 1 and 1 third. Right, 3 goes into 4 one whole time with 1 left over. And then you have to take and combine your whole numbers. 32 plus 1 is 33 and 1 third. And they were asking us to add two percentages together. So that would be the whole combination of all of that. How about one more for you? One and one eighth plus two and seven eighths. One and one eighth plus two and seven eighths. And again, even though you may be able to do this in your head, you will write that down and actually do it. What do you get when you add one and one eighth plus two and seven eighths? Carter A. Three and eight eighths. Well, three and eight eighths is unacceptable, though. And four. Well, you don't round. You're not rounding. You're just rounding. changing the mixed number for the improper fraction. When you add these together, add the tops together, you do get eight eighths. You get three and eight eighths. And since eight eighths is exactly one, you add one to the three and end up with four. 